Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled Solomon's Summary. The conclusion when all has been heard is fear God and keep His commandments because this applies to every person. For God will bring every act to judgment, everything which is hidden, whether it is good or evil. Solomon wrote these words in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 13 and 14. Now Solomon wrote these words as he was summing up his life experiences. He was blessed with a great mind, wealth, political power, and the time to seek and find what in his words was upright and true. Now Solomon spent much of his life searching in all the wrong places for the things that would satisfy him. He tried wealth and sensual pleasure, building projects and various intellectual pursuits, but he found that with each new peak experience there was a valley of dissatisfaction that soon followed. This cycle led him to three conclusions about life and how one can be satisfied with it. Conclusion number one, fear God, respect, glorify, praise, and recognize God for who He is. So the first sin that leads to total darkness is the refusal to acknowledge God. Paul writes about this in Romans chapter 1, verse 21. There can be no joy and appreciation for what we have, no matter how much of it we have, unless we acknowledge God first. Rule number two, obey His commands. Solomon proved with his own life that disobedience in great and small affairs leads to destruction. For a life to have order and avoid the ravages of sin, a person needs to seek and submit to God's will. How many times can we trace a heartbreaking situation in our own lives to a long line of rebellious acts against God? The effort to obey God brings peace to the mind as well as to the body. And rule number three, justice will be done. You know, there's a truth that should comfort someone and be sobering to others. God will judge everyone, no matter what they believe, or no matter how much they own. Solomon, in his wealth and power and wisdom, realized that his position and accomplishments would not exempt him from God's judgment. This should be an encouraging idea for those who suffer injustice and difficulty in this world, and it should strike fear in the hearts of those who think that their success and good health is a sign that God is ignoring their sins. In the end, God will judge you according to what you've done, not what you have. In a society where being religious is equated with narrow-mindedness and the judgment of God is scoffed at, we would be wise to remind ourselves and others that life without God is meaningless and the judgment to come will be terrible for those who have ignored it. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you have been watching the Bible Talk video blog. Hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.